are gonna become a data analyst. Well, you're in luck because data analytics is quickly becoming one of the most sought after positions by companies. With the rise of AI and machine learning, businesses are on the lookout for professionals who can not only analyze data, but also keep up with the latest trends, models, and processes. My name is Sevi, I'm a senior data analyst, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you the roadmap to becoming a data analyst in 2023. Let's get into it. So there are two ways of learning data analytics. Option one is self-teaching, using online resources such as YouTube to learn all there is to analytics. Option two is through a data analytics degree or an online bootcamp. Both options do allow you to learn the necessary skills to become a data analyst, but this video will heavily lean towards the side of enrolling into a data analytics bootcamp, as a data analytics bootcamp will guide you through the basics and also teach you the mistakes that professionals have made so that you don't make them in the future. Before we dive into it, let's define what a data analyst is first. According to ChatGPT, a data analyst is a professional who specializes in collecting, organizing, and analyzing large sets of data to identify patterns, trends, and insights that can inform business decisions. Data analysts use various statistical and analytical tools to transform raw data into meaningful information that can then be used to solve business problems, improve performance, and drive growth. Data analysts can work in various industries such as finance, marketing, tech, healthcare, and many more. I'm currently working as a data analyst in the automotive industry, and even though the tools used vary from company to company, the overall responsibilities are practically the same across all industries. The framework of getting down the skills of becoming a data analyst can be listed out as math and statistics, technical tools, presentation and storytelling, and domain knowledge. As a data analyst, you're obviously gonna need to enjoy working with numbers. It's not for everybody, but if you enjoyed your math classes in middle school and high school, that's a good indicator that you'd be a good fit as a data analyst. The basic math and statistics that you're gonna need to be familiar with include average, mean, medium, mode, standard deviation, variance, and many more. There are a lot of courses online that can teach these to you or if you need a quick refresher. Regarding the technical skills to land your first job as a data analyst, when getting my data analytics minor, most courses focus on Python and R as I thought that these would be the most necessary tools to get my first job as a data analyst. Having been a data analyst for over a year now, I can confidently say that this is not true at all. A great knowledge of Python and R is very useful, but when you're getting your first role as a data analyst, statistics show that that most employers are looking for data analysts with a strong background in SQL, Excel, and a data visualization tool such as Tableau. Excel can get a bad rep sometimes because it can be seen as a less technical tool compared to Python and R. But nine times out of 10, Excel gets the job done. And at the end of the day, your boss and company care about getting that job done. My biggest recommendation to myself if I were to go back in time is to master everything about Excel such as VLOOKUPs, SUMIFs, conditional formatting, pivot tables, as well as having a good grasp of SQL, such as understanding your select statements, froms, wheres, group buys, halvings, subqueries, and CTEs, and mastering a data visualization tool such as Tableau or Power BI. I personally recommend Tableau because I love how clean the user interface is. However, if you decide to learn Power BI, both Power BI and Tableau are very similar to each other, so your skills will be easily transferable from one tool to the other. After you've secured your first data analytics job, that is when you want to start expanding your knowledge and starting to implement both Python and R into your pipelines. Education never stops whether you are an aspiring data analyst or already a data analytics professional. You always want to be teaching yourself about the most up-to-date processes as data analytics is continuously evolving every single day. The next skill that you're going to need to master is presenting and storytelling. As a data analyst, you are constantly going to have to present your analyses to senior management. So you're going to need to be comfortable with your presentation and communication skills. A common mistake that a lot of aspiring analysts make is not understanding their audience when presenting their analyses. I was guilty of this back in the day as well during my time as a marketing analyst intern a couple years ago. Senior management had asked me to do an analysis of analyzing their marketing costs and finding ways to reduce it. I was excited to use all the skills that I've been learning in my data analytics minor and use R to create a linear regression formula that would highlight the factors that both positively and negatively affected marketing costs. When it came to presenting, I wanted to show off how technically skilled I was and use technical terms to a non-technical audience. Big mistake. The result of this always ends up being your audience not understanding the impact of your analysis as you hope they would. And that is the last thing you wanna feel as 
a data analyst that just put in hours of work into an analysis. That is exactly why presentation skills and storytelling abilities are very important skills as a data analyst. The way that I was able to master my presentation and storytelling abilities was through an online bootcamp called Springboard. Springboard is an online bootcamp that provides courses in data analytics, software engineering, UI UX design, and data science to name a few. Their goal is for you to build the skills and confidence to both launch your career and take your career to the next level. By enrolling in Springboard's six month long bootcamp, you give yourself access to a mentor and a career coach that will guide you through your whole journey, as well as three projects that can not only be put on your resume and portfolio when applying to entry level data roles, but also hone in your skills in Python, SQL, Tableau, and Excel, and teach you everything about the best practices for presentations and storytelling. You also have the opportunity to network with all other members of the bootcamp in your cohort to connect with and help each other out when getting through your bootcamp. As someone who thrives in a driven and motivated environment, Springboard will provide this environment for you and push yourself and others to take one step closer to achieving your goal of getting your first job as a data analyst. Springboard's bootcamp also comes with a job guarantee where they guarantee that you will land a job. And if not, they will return all your money. That is how confident they are in launching your career. I completed Springboard's data analytics program and it taught me so many things that my data analytics minor did not teach me. I genuinely feel that without the help of Springboard's data analytics bootcamp, I would not have the opportunity that I have today. This is not a sponsored video, but if you're interested in learning about the different courses that Springboard provides and whether or not Springboard would be a good fit for you, click the link in the description to receive a special discount on the course that you choose. Finally, understanding your domain is necessary to succeed as a data analyst. If you want to be in the healthcare industry, understand it's key performance indicators and create projects highlighting these key performance indicators. Technical skills can only take you so far if you don't have a good understanding of the industry's data and the KPI metrics. In my personal experience, this is what's taught to me on the job as a part of my onboarding process. But if you're gung-ho on getting your first data analytics position in a specific industry such as the entertainment industry or the sports industry, definitely be familiar with the domain. So you become comfortable with math and statistics, you become a master at Excel, SQL, and a data visualization tool of your choice, but you have no projects. I highly recommend getting two to three data analytics projects around a topic that you are passionate about. There are a lot of videos online that walk you through creating a data analytics project and are great to get the ball rolling. You may be inclined to search for a data set on Kaggle.com and use the first data set you find, but data projects are the most fun when you are passionate about the topic. As a Japanese Filipino American, I'm passionate about my Asian culture and my background. With that in mind, I was instantly drawn to the idea of analyzing the number of Asian hate crimes in the United States during the year that COVID was first introduced. Because I was passionate about this topic, doing this project never felt like a chore to me, and I constantly found ways to continue diving deeper and deeper into my analysis by asking different questions. If you're interested in that project, I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to check out. To find your dataset of choice, I recommend going on Kaggle.com as it provides so many different datasets free for you to use. And when planning out your data analytics projects, make sure that you highlight a particular technical skill that is used by data analysts. For example, project one might be a project showcasing your querying abilities in SQL to answer questions that you might have on a topic, while project two might be a data visualization project done in Tableau, and project three is a regression analysis in Excel. Or you can combine all of these different aspects into one single project. By answering specific questions that you have about your data, your projects won't only highlight your technical skills, but also showcase your decision-making skills as well. Be sure to showcase your analytical skills by making data-driven insights and recommendations, as this is a very important skill to have as a data analyst as well. If you have any other questions about getting started on your very first data analytics project, or the thought process needed to create a great project, Leave a comment down below and I can make a video in the future going more in depth on this. Topic. So you've got two to three data analytics projects under your belt and ready to showcase to the world. What now? This is where you create your data analytics portfolio. A data analytics portfolio can be in many different forms, but my absolute favorite is creating your very own website. Now it sounds daunting at first, but trust me, it really isn't. Alex the Analyst has an amazing video that goes in depth, step by step, teaching you how to make your data analytics portfolio. My portfolio looks pretty much identical to his and it gets the job done. I've gotten so many compliments about my data analytics portfolio and was actually a very big selling point when I was interviewing for a senior data analyst position at my current company, which I ended up getting. Whether you are an inspiring data analyst or a working data analytics professional, having a portfolio is a must. By doing this, you'll give recruiters an easy way to look at all the projects that you've done in the past and showcase your skills to prove that you are a qualified candidate for this. Whether you like it or not, 
Networking is 100% necessary in order to find your very first job as a data analyst, especially with how the job market is today. The only time that you'll be getting a call back for an interview is with some sort of connection, whether it be a referral or you messaging the hiring manager directly. I'm an introvert and when I was applying to my very first role, I didn't believe that networking would make a huge difference and told myself that finding a job is purely a numbers game. I was far from right. After two months and hundreds of applications of straight nothing, I decided to step up and try networking, specifically messaging the hiring manager for each job posting that I was applying for. And I can't even lie that with the first one that I sent out, one hour later, the recruiter asked for my availability to have an interview with me. I was absolutely mind blown. From that day on, I began to mass apply to jobs less and apply to around five jobs per day. But taking the time to strategically network and reach out to either the hiring manager or current employees in the role that I was looking at for an informational interview or a coffee chat to learn more about their role. Chances are, if they think that you'd be a good fit for the role, they would be more than happy to give you a referral to a job opening, exponentially increasing increasing your chances of getting that first interview. The days of sending out hundreds of applications are over. And in order to find success getting your very first data analytics job, networking is a must. If you're struggling to get started on networking, as I know it can be very difficult cold messaging random people, start with messaging people in your circle working as a data analyst or working at companies that you would want to work for. Then start expanding by reaching out to your school's alumni on LinkedIn by typing in data analyst and your school and going through the list to network with these people. Soon enough, you'll be able to pitch yourselves to recruiters more confidently and reach out to professionals for a coffee chat more comfortably. I'm giving out the framework that I use when reaching out to professionals to have a coffee chat that converted me tons of success. Use this framework to your advantage and in no time, you'll not only expand your network, but notice more and more invitations for an interview come your way, bringing you one step closer to getting your very first data analytics job. And that's gonna be it for this video. If you thought this information was helpful, be sure to drop a like. And if you have any questions that I could answer in future videos, feel free to comment down below as I will read every single comment. Good luck to all of you looking to launch a career in data analytics. And if I can do it, I 100% know that you guys can too. Be sure to stay tuned for my next video and I'll catch you guys later. Shoots!